Hey, you, 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 you. Guess what day it is? Guess what day it is? It's hump day, yay, yay. Hello, my internet peeps, it is I. Today, I'm going to talk about noises that make me cringe. You all know them. They're noises that, as soon as you hear them, you cannot help but clench your teeth together or tense up your body or you just want to cover your ears as hard as you can so you no longer have to hear it. I'm going to give you all my top five cringe-worthy noises, rating from least cringy to most cringy. My first noise that makes me cringe is people chewing their gum loudly or smacking their gum. I don't know why people do it. It drives me insane close your mouth when you're chewing your gum <laughs> you all may know that i do not like this noise not only does it make me cringe but it just makes me want to punch somebody in the face i did a video on it of things that tick me off if you haven't seen it already there will be a link down below you can watch that if it tickles your fancy dry erase markers squeaking on a whiteboard I know with this one, you can't really help it as much, but for some reason, when I hear dry erase markers making contact with a whiteboard and they start doing that, <laughs> but I can't be mad at people when that happens. You can't help it if the marker makes the squeaking noise. It's not like there's a little label on the marker that says squeaky side. This one makes me really cringy and really annoyed is loud ticking clocks. I do not know what it is, but I personally do not like the sound of ticking clocks. I can't explain why, just especially if I am in a very quiet room and all you hear is and it's even worse if somebody has those type of clocks in a bedroom and you're the guest in the bedroom. So you don't want to be rude and either take the clock out of the room or tear the battery out of the clock or if it's an older clock, just however you would turn it off. So lying in bed, having to hear. I do have a clock in my room and it does tick, but it's not loud enough that I hear it even while I'm talking right now. Like, just the bigger clocks that even if you're talking, you just hear it in the background. This is my second least favorite. Is that even the right way to say that? I'm going with it. This is my second least favorite noise to hear. Metal coat hangers on metal coat racks. I want to strangle whatever department store I go into where they think it is a good idea to put a metal coat hanger onto a metal coat rack. Not good. If you know what I'm talking about, that sound where if you are shopping and you try to scoop the clothes down so you can see all the different shirts, pants, whatever, and it just makes that Oh my gosh, it makes my body just tense. I wish I could turn off my ears whenever I have to deal with metal coat hangers on metal coat rack making that eerie, teeth grinding, screeching sound. But my least favorite noise in the world is the sound of a bug crunching. What I mean by that is when you have a certain type of bug and you are getting ready to kill it, whether with your foot, a book, paper towel, whatever's in your arsenal, as soon as said item makes contact with bug body, especially on hard surface, and it just makes that Let's wrap this up. <sighs> okay, so there you go. Those are my five cringe-worthy noises. I hope I didn't traumatize any of you. I'm sorry if I did. It may be difficult, but please let me know in the comments down below what are some of your 
cringy noises. Also, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Please do. Obey the thumb. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I make a new video every Wednesday. That's all I got. See you next week, my internet peeps. tiny little clock in my room and whoop out of focus out of focus focus darn you thank you focus it's out of focus again